two hours later. <laughs> I was supposed to be funny now, but I can't, so just go to the intro. Random black guy. What up, everybody? Alpha here, aka Random Black Guy, aka Chocolate Face, no makeup, and this is a review of the movie Widows. Movie. I love movies. Widow is the new movie from the director Steve McQueen. He's becoming one of my new favorite directors. He's just awesome. Uh, He's done movies like Hunger, Shame, and 12 Years a Slave. The only thing I have to say, I have to go on a quick rant. don't like 12 years of slave I think that's his worst movie uh, not because of him mostly because of I'm sick and tired of these slaves movies I'm just I can't stand of it no more I can't watch you know people being beaten being printed that way for like two and a half hours it just it's just tiresome for me so 12 years of slave as a movie it's not bad but the theme of the movie I don't like it. To me, I enjoyed it while I watched it, but I can never watch that movie again. That was just a big no-no to me. So, that was my rant of 12 Years a Slave. Anyways, Widow is directed by Steve McQueen, yes, and it has a awesome cast. This movie is starring Viola Davis, Liam Neeson, Michelle Rodriguez, Elizabeth Debicki, Colin Farrell, Brian T. Henry, Cynthia Erivo, and Daniel Kaluuya. You see, this cast is just, this is an awesome cast. Woo! Woo! Mm. Yeah! So the plot of the movie Widow is that after a shootout with the police, it leaves four thieves dead during a robbery attempt in Chicago. Their widows, Veronica played by Viola Davis, Linda played by Michelle Rodriguez, Alice played by Elizabeth Debicki, and Belle played by Cynthia Erivo. They have nothing in common except the debt left by their spouse's criminal activities. So they decide to come together and pull off a heist. Whew, this movie, man. Let me just go through the good, bad, and ugly so I can dissect and analyze this movie. You probably already know what I'm gonna say about this movie. So, good. Holy shit, this movie is awesome. This movie is so good. Steve McQueen, man. I, I bow before you, man. This is a strong contender of one of my favorite movies of this year. I was so surprised by Widows. I always seen the trailer. I had a little bit of a sense what this movie was about. It's so much more than the trailer portrays, okay? This movie is really good. The cast, man. Like I said, the cast. This, this cast is just... Everybody brought their A-game to this movie. Especially Viola Davis and Danny Kaluuya. Viola Davis was awesome in this movie she brought her all like she was so powerful i loved her character i felt where her character was going through in this movie like it was a couple of times i was teary i was almost crying because she was she convinced me so much in this movie she was so good academy you have to nominate her this movie this really this movie convinced me that viola davis is top three best actress out there. I'm telling you, she is so good in this movie. And Danny Kaluuya in this movie, man. He's fucking scary. I was so much afraid of him in this movie. He plays the antagonist or one of the antagonists in this movie. And he is... Don't mess with that dude, man. In this movie, he plays a killer. And he is so ice cold. He, he has no empathy. Like he doesn't care. He's a sociopath with a swagger. He's so well calculated. He knows what he's doing. And he knows that he's good what, what he's doing. The times when he loses his, loses his cool. My God. I was like holy shit. I was so much afraid of this guy. I don't want to come across with this guy at all. And another surprise, I never thought she was so good as an actress is Michelle Rodriguez. I only know her from the 
Fast and the Furious franchise. I always felt like she was phoning in in those movies, but in this movie, she brought her A game too. She was really good. I was so surprised. I never thought that she had that presence. She was really good. She was, in a way, playing the same character as she does in the uh, Fast and the Furious movie, but she does it with a little bit more of a finesse, a little bit more of experience. That's how good she is. Another thing I like about this movie is the plot. Uh, the plot is, is in a way pretty typical. You, uh, you feel sorry for a, a group of people. You follow them through the ride when they have to do something. I love the plot because of, of it, it takes its time. We get to know those characters, who they are, what, what they are going through, and what they have to do to get through this mess that they are in. It has a strong first act. The second act, I'm, I'm gonna explain a little bit more when I have to talk about my bad. Third act is, it just, it picks up. The third act is crazy, I love it. When they do the heist, the movie just, becomes awesome. It is a little bit of a slow burn at first and I appreciate it. I thought it was good. I wanted to understand what those characters was going through. Another thing about this movie I really really liked is the cinematography. It, it really captures Chicago in a way that I think I haven't I haven't seen before. You know Chicago became its own character in this movie. Like I said about the plot, when the heist comes in the third act, the heist the heist comes with a bang. I can only come up with two movies that does that way that this movie did. And it's Heat and The Town. Those movies capture the process of a heist good. And this movie does it also. One thing I also liked about this movie is it didn't treat us audience stupid. You know, I'm sick and tired of feeling stupid that they have to over explain stuff. They did it in this movie. They they treat us smart, and that's a good thing about this movie and Steve McQueen. You know, he knows it's he knows its audience. They know that we are intellectual. They know that we are smart. We're not stupid. We understand the twist. We understand the plot devices. We understand everything. The structure of this movie. They don't have to over explain stuff to us. You know, they explain it one time. That's enough. And it's all because of the screenwriters of Steve McQueen and Gillian Flynn. They know that we understand what is going on in this movie. And the last thing that I really liked about this movie is that even though, like I said, it's another, it's another heist movie, I never thought in a million years that Steve McQueen could pull off a thriller heist movie. I was so surprised. You know, I know that all of Steve McQueen's movies are a little, they are pretty slow, but it takes its time. It let us understand what we are watching. And in this movie, it does it, but it still has its tempo. It still has to go fast. So he does, it, he does a great job combining his slow burning signature he always has in his movie with the commercialized tempo, you know, upbeat thriller heist movies. Let me go through the bad. Even though the first act is great, the third act is amazing, the second act is a little bit slow for me. Uh, I understood why they decided to do that, that the second act would be a pretty much have to understand what this character was going through and what they decide to do what they are doing. It's good, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stand here and say that it's not slow. It is slow. And it was a couple of times I was just watching my phone. Like, oh, okay, I got a bit bored. Not too much, just a little, little bit bored. The second thing that I thought was bad about this movie, is Brian T. Henry's character. Listen, Brian T. Henry is an amazing actor. I love him in Atlanta. I think he's awesome as Paperboy, and I think he's, he was pretty good in, what's the name of the movie once again? Hotel Artemis, is that the correct name? I think so. He was great in that movie too, but in this movie, he's 
overacting a little bit. He has that ghetto hoodlum personality. You know, he wasn't cool like Danny Kalua. That was mostly how I felt at the beginning, you know, when I saw him the first couple of scenes. I grew to like him more. You know, Brian T. Henry, he overacted some couple of scenes. I was like, okay. Ah, okay. I'll, that's just a little bit too much. Just take it, take it down a notch. Just take it down a little bit. I still enjoyed his portrayal of the character who was playing. I still enjoyed him in this movie, but he was overacting. That's pretty much all I have to say that is bad about this movie. And when it comes to ugly, I have nothing to say, okay? This, this movie is freaking amazing. I love this movie with a fucking passion. So my rating of Widows, I'm giving this movie 4 2 out of 5. Holy shit, this, this movie, man. This is Steve McQueen's most mainstream commercialized movie and even though this is my least favorite movie of him this is still an amazing movie this is a great great thriller heist movie so randomers have you seen the movie widows do you guys want to see the movie widows do you not want to see the movie widows write your comments down below and let me know and don't forget to get a like comment and subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification bell so every time i upload a new video you will be the first to see it anyways guys my name is alfie aka random black guy and this was my review of the movie widows till next time i'm giving you out there a peace random black guy